Hey everybody, it's your boy Nate. Uh, I just wanted to preface this video before getting into it. This is a pre-release pre item. It has not released technically. Um, the reason I mention that is just for a couple reasons. Number one, if you're hype about the set and you're still looking to get it, you know, there's still an opportunity. You can go to your local card shop. Uh, if you got a good rapport with them, maybe get it on a pre-release event where you'll have early access to it. Maybe even get to like, you know, build some decks and uh, battle with some people, which would be really cool. Of course, um, it depends on your area. I would say, if you know, be safe, social distance, do all that, all that jazz. Don't want anything crazy happening. But um, I wanted to let you guys know that. But then also too, there will be some prices included on the cards that I'm about to open and show you now. Um, again, these are pre-release values, so they're likely to vary drastically. Meaning, um, you know, once we get more pull rate information. Once they're more widely available, again, next week on August 6th when the actual set is supposed to release, um, you know, some of those cards are going to drop. Other ones are going to increase in value. Um, spoiler alert, some of the cards I'm pulling today actually don't have a value assigned to them yet because they just are that new. Um, I haven't seen um, too many um, of the cards actually with a specific values. So, I'll do what I can, kind of give you an idea of where maybe it would be based off of just my knowledge of um, prior sets. Um, it's an Omnimon set, so it's gonna be super hype, and I think prices uh, specifically for like the Omnimon cards are probably gonna be a little inflated for a while. Um, buyer beware, I guess, if you're gonna be buying singles, but uh, irregardless, I had a great time doing the opening, and if you guys do booster bat packs or like booster box openings, I hope you have a really good time as well, and you know what, good luck with your pulls. Thanks for watching, and let's get to the video. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Nate coming at you with another quick, not really quick, with another Digimon card opening. This is going to be a little bit out of order. I've got a lot of great legend stuff that I have been processing and haven't released, but I did want to take the opportunity today to present the Battle of Omni BT05 set release for Digimon in the US slash North America. Super excited about this. Technically, I believe, technically the pre-release event is tomorrow, but I did get the hookup, so I'm very excited to be able to open this booster box with you today. In addition, I've got one of the pre-release packs. Um, if you don't know anything about this set, the only thing that you really need to know is that it is chock full of Omnimons. That's like the main thing in the set. It's kind of like if Pokemon decided to do a set that only had Charizards in it. Which I think they did. I think it was like XY Flash Fire. I'm not sure. Black and White Flash Fire. One of those sets I think was like mostly Charizard. So this is kind of like if you're a Digimon fan, this is hype. You already know. If you're not really a Digimon fan, but kind of just interested in the content or just opening like packs in general, that's going to be what we're looking for in general. There's a lot of super rare Omnimons and secret rare Omnimons in this set. Um, we've got Swartz. We've got regular Omnimon. I think we've got Alter S's. I don't even know. There's so many Omnimons. But without further ado, I really want to get into this, super excited, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. Before we get started, please, 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 please leave a like, let me know that you guys are appreciating the content, and if you're new here, if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Let's me know that I'm doing at least uh, an okay job, and uh, you know, lets me helps me build the channel, and the more I build the channel, the more cool openings I can do uh, in the future. So. Let's get into this little pre-release promo pack. I've actually never had one of these before. But it says on the pack, 56 types in total, 30 uncommons and 26 rares from BT05. So I think these are alternate art versions. Not like all, I guess, not like true alt art versions, but um, variant, variant art is I guess what I usually call it. God, this is hard to open. Um, let's see here. I don't usually like doing this, but with these packs that only have like two cards in them, I always hate oh, trying to open them and then you're just like ripping the, like, or bending the cards or something. So let's see what we have here. All right. Okay, so pre-release, we got Izzy and Mimi for our Tamer card. And then we have, oh cool, we got Gigimon for our, um, other pre-release cards so that's really cool and then obviously the special thing here is just this pre-release logo um, there's nothing else too crazy about them I think this Mimi and Izzy card is actually pretty good um, if your opponent has a suspended Digimon and play gain two memory when you attack with a level five green you may suspend this tamer and reveal three cards 
and then you may digivolve one Grievan level six card among them on, oh wow, this is a really good card without paying its memory card, without paying its memory costs. Place some memory cards at the bottom of your deck. Wow, okay, that's pretty awesome. So those are nice. Um, I think, that, yeah, that, that uh, Izzy and Mimi card seems pretty, uh, pretty legit, so. All right, let's get into, and I think those are the types of cards that you can, like with that sticker, you can only get at like an event from your like LCS. So, you know, another reason to support local is you get like random cool cards. You're not gonna, you know, get those just by ordering this booster box from anywhere. So, all right, let's see if I can pop this bad boy open. The, uh, the wrappers, a this is my first booster box opening for Digimon, by the way, so that's hype. That's hype, get hype on the comments. Um, this is a little bit like thicker than like the Digimon or than Pokemon Pokemon I can just rip open. So let's see here. Sniff check, smells good. Let's get these open. Oh yeah, that's right. There's box toppers and Digimon cards. I forget about that, because again, this is my this is my first opening for a booster box. Alright, I just like to get the like all the whole thing open like this is how I remember like when you're a kid I remember seeing this like in the grocery store like the checkout lane you'd see this you just grab one pack out of it beg your parents like please 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 can I have this and they're like fine okay so that's like how I remember it so it's kind of like nice let's see here my box topper is the Thai Kamiya and Matashita card if your opponent has a level six or higher Digimon in play gain two, two memory pretty legit and then all of your Digimon with Omnimon in their names gain security attack plus one. Wow, I mean, that's obviously a good card um, when you have a set that is just like chock full of Omnimon. So let's get into it. Um, information about the set, 112 total cards. I don't believe that includes um, secret rares. There's usually like two or three secret rares in each set. Um, there is no card trick for Digimon. I'm just gonna put these guys reorganize a little bit put this guy over here all right there we go there's no card trick for digimon so we're just going to get into it um i'll start out slow with some of these guys just because it's the first time seeing them monochromon kodemon daramon but as we see them multiple times i'm probably going to go a little faster pale dramon Ooh, marimon getting his little his curry on got a vedamon in the background gladimon which is not a Digimon that I'm super familiar with, but I assume it evolves into Nightmon. Or is it a rookie? It's a level four. No, I think it's a champion then. I don't know. Uh, Meteor Shower. Ooh, another Gigimon. Chris Pyldramon. Chris Paledramon. Excuse me, not Pyldramon. Paledramon. Sunomon. We've got Wergarumon Sagittarius mode. So this is the new, like, upgraded version from Digimon Adventure 2020. While this Digimon has Gurumon or Omnimon in its name, it gets plus 1000 DP. Wow, that's insane. So this is just like a stack card for Omnimon. Uh, while a Digimon card with where Gurumon in its name is in this Digimon's Digivolutions cards, this Digimon gains jamming, this Digimon can't be deleted in battles against security Digimon. Awesome, okay, cool, 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 cool. Ooh, Renamon, hello. On play, one of one of your opponent's Digimon gains a security attack minus one. Okay, that's kind of nice. And then of course, just the, like a little player card. So very neat, Renamon. So uh, there are gonna be, I guess, Tamer cards, uh, Digimon Tamers in this uh, in this set as well. So that's cool for me. I love Digimon Tamers. It's definitely my my favorite like classic show. Sayakomon, Cubimon, which is Renamon's evolution. Black Growlmon. Chilling with an Impmon on his shoulder. Triceramon. Supreme Cannon, which is one of the attacks for Omnimon. Jokermon. <laughs> I wonder if there's a Batman Mon. Copyright infringement pending. Royal Nuts. Check out these Royal Nuts. That's funny. Neptune Mon, looking pretty dope. You can't actually fly, aw, poor Kiwimon, into a fake Agumon expert. Hmm. Diaboromon is our rare, very nice. Omnimon Swart, our first super rare pool, and man, this thing is epic. 
Trash the top three cards of your deck, then you may play up to two black and or purple Digimon cards with play costs of eight or less from your trash without paying their memory costs. Oh, wow. When attacking, you may return one level six Digimon card in this Digimon's chain to its owner's hand to delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with a play cost of 12 or less. So he's, uh, yeah, he's not messing around when he comes onto the field of battle. Let's just put it that way. And like I said, the booster box of Omnimon. So we're gonna see a lot of Omnimon cards, super jazzed up, black or purple. So that's like kind of a, like a crossover card. So it can be good in a couple different types of decks. I'm starting to see that a little bit more. I'm gonna say hybrid, right? Where you have multiple colors. It's not really hybrid because I think hybrid's actually like a type of evolution in the Digimon card game um, for like um, tamers into Digimon, like champions. But um, that's kind of how I see it. Uh, Marine Devamon, Pillowmon, Pilomon maybe? Ooh, Kurisarimon. Sorry. Ultimate Flare. Agumon. Another Supreme Cannon. Fake Agumon. Revive from the Darkness. Neat. And got a little. That's a pretty cool picture of Devimon down there. Neptune Mon. Catastrophe Cannon, which is Diaboromon's uh, special move. And then, all right, another super rare. Armageddon which is one of the antagonists. No, that's Apocalypse Mon. Armageddon. I'm trying to remember what Armageddon was from. But he looks super dope. When playing this card from your hand, you may delete one of your Diaboromon and reduce this card's play cost by 12. Was he in the second movie? That must be what it is. Rush, this Digimon can attack the turn it comes into play. Hot damn. And all turns when Digivolving effects of level 7 Digimon don't activate. Oh wow, so he's like... That's a pretty cool card. I think he's a purple. He looks like he's a purple card. It's hard for me to tell on some of these like super silver cards, but they are fantastic looking. So there we go. Two packs in, or three packs in, and already have two super rares, which is awesome. Um, the other nice thing about Digimon cards, excuse me, uh, versus like Pokemon cards, right? Is uh, I do believe that there are like guaranteed hits, so like you're guaranteed a certain number of card, like super rares and secrets in a box. I think there's guaranteed one secret. I believe you might be able to get more garbage mon, but uh, that's just kind of nice. You know that uh, when you when you pick one up, you're gonna be getting your bang for your buck. Unlike some Pokemon booster boxes, sometimes you know. I just did an opening the other day and the best card I got was a single like VMAX and that was it. And that's just like, a, it's a, it's a, it's an expensive pill to swallow. Ooh, Shoutmon. Neat. I wonder if we're going to get like Shoutmon level. Ooh, cool. If we're going to get Shoutmon like X cross seven or something like that in this set. I don't know. I haven't even looked at the set list. Um, Taikumi I Aiba, which I believe is from the um, Cyber Sleuth series, right? When one of your Pokemon, or one of, excuse me, when one of your Digimon Digivolves, you may suspend this Tamer to trigger draw one. All level three Digimon game when attacking lose one memory. Interesting. Ooh, Sakuyamon, which is Renamon's mega evolution from Digimon Tamers, looking super dope. Very nice, what does she do? When an opponent's Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area, it gains security attack minus three. So she's like, you, you can't do Rookie Rush on me. That's what that's what she's saying. That sounds like a yellow, like like a super yellow deck. Like not only are they gonna add just like a bunch of cards to their security, but they're gonna make it hard for you to attack their security. So it's like maybe they're trying to over, like counter how strong Rookie Rush is, um, especially for like some of those red decks. Commandermon, eating some delicious food. Gessomon, Agumon. Demonic Disaster. Oh, hey, Pixiemon. Rosamon. Gigimon. Shooting Starmon. Dope. And then we've got an Argomon. This is like the mega level Argomon now. When one of your Digimon Digivolves into this card from your hand, you may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Dev Revolution by two. When Digivolving, suspend all your opponent's tamers, and all turns your opponent's tamers don't unsuspend. Wow. Wow. Ooh, that's shiny. We've got a, a Hexablaumon for our next super rare pool. 
trash up to two Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, this Digimon gains jamming. That's powerful. This Digimon can't be deleted in battles against security for the turn. Your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards can't attack or block. So it's like cutting down your defenses, literally. That's pretty cool. So if you get a you get a couple of these out there, you're really gonna you're really gonna jam up, literally jam up uh, your opponent's ability to do anything. So that's that's neat. That's neat. Um, I'm not sure if there's any new battle mechanics added with BT05. We'll probably see if we pull a card. Um, I think that there were like I might be confusing it with BT04, like, but I believe. But it actually might be six. Um, there's, I believe, there's a mechanic coming out with like the like um, bonds of courage and bonds of friendship, like the Agumon and the Gabumon. Um, but I'm not quite sure. So we'll see what we pull in here. If uh, ooh, Zanbamon, Pikmon. We'll see what we pull in here. Uh, maybe it'll kind of just like lead me down the path of understanding. Metal Garurumon for our first rare. When attacking once per turn, gain one memory. So again, you stack this with that Wear Greymon, and then you evolve into um, Omnimon. It's really gonna, it's you're really gonna get um, some nice effects uh, stacking on each other. And then Warumonzamon, which uh, doesn't really have any added bonuses, is just kind of a just a black card. Pretty cool. All right. So hard to get these packs open sometimes. They really, they really seal them up. So you know. You're not, I, I guess you're not going to have to worry about resealed packs. Colamon, Pillowmon, Marimon, Garbagemon, Ultimate Flare, Palmon, Rowdy Rocker, which is Shoutmon's attack, Gabumon, can't actually fly, Infermon, we've got Sora and Joe. Start your turn. If your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, gain two memory. All right. And then when you attack with a blue Digimon, you may suspend this Tamer to trash two Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. So again, uh, another kind of like added effect, these blue decks are gonna be taking away your Digivolution cards, which ultimately does make your uh, your cards weaker, but then also um, makes uh, makes it easier to defeat them with uh, some of these other mega level Digimon. Ooh, yeah, baby. Another pull another Omnimon. So this time we've got Omnimon Zwart. He is looking hella fresh. I am wondering if this is one of the... I am not sure if this is the different card because if you look it's got kind of like the gold border. So I wonder if that means it is a like an alt art card. The same yeah, so it's the exact same. So I think this is I, this must be the alternate art version of the card. Well, that's super dope. Good on ya. I love that. Let me just, I'm gonna put it, I don't know, I'm running out of room here. There's so many different types of cards. I'm gonna put it right here and try to find out more info about it before the end of the video, I guess. I'll probably cut back in here to tell you more about that card. Stay tuned. Maybe, I don't know, here we go. Next pack. I wish I knew a little bit more about it, but I always feel like it's not like as com like it's not always commercial knowledge, for at least for me. Um, my Suyamon, Tricera, Flora, Mechanorimon, Mechanori, Meteor Shower, Black Mock Galgamon. Oh god, that's cool looking. Gilmon Purple, Shademon, Throwing Shademon, Sunomon. Earthshaker for our rare and another tie in mat, which I believe, yeah, it looks like it's the exact same as the box topper, but uh, the box topper is, uh, you know, that like silver holographic. So very neat. I'm just like all sorts of curious about this Omnimon. It's got to be the alternate art version. And I mean, if you're going to pull an alternate art, I feel like Omnimon's warts probably the best if not the best card to pull i wonder if i just pulled the best card in the box i mean i'm excited about it that's awesome if it is the like most rare or most sought after card in the box i'll be super hyped that's insane graymon oh another graymon 
when did you this Digimon? Hmm, interesting. Okay, Yokomon, Transcendent Sword, All Delete, which is another like super Omnimon like move. You may return one of your Digimon with Omnimon in its name to its owner's hand and delete all Digimon and Tamers. Trash all the Digivolution cards of the Digimon you returned with this effect. Wow. And then, ooh, that's shiny. Lord Nightmon, which I believe was, um, had a different name um, in the US version. I can't remember what it was, but um, that's sweet for another secret rare. You may play a yellow level three Digimon card or a yellow Digimon card with warrior in its type from your hand without paying its memory cost. That's pretty sweet on attack. And then all turns for each other Digimon you haven't played, this Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP. Whoa! That could be huge. That could really, really stack up well. Um, I don't know if yellow decks, like, have the, like, gumption to, like, get Digimon out really quick. There's, like, certain, I feel like there's certain, certain colors that can just, like, boom, we're going to throw, like, five Digimon at once and you're just going to deal with it. I feel like that's, like, a, like a red deck thing maybe but uh that's pretty cool i do like i do like lord nightmon very much Ooh, vajramon kind of like a centaur minotaur that's pretty cool garbage mon guess so star mons nice each digimon you haven't played one of your opponent's digimon gets negative oh interesting <laughs> d's royal nuts nightmon Greymon, Bancho Lilymon, who's just like an emo version of regular Lilymon, Fake Agumon, Arata Sonata. Okay, cool. This guy looks like kind of badass. If a Digimon card with unidentified in its type is in your trash, gain a memory, and when one of your Digimon Digivolves into Diaboromon, you may suspend this tamer to play one Diaboromon token without paying its memory cost. Diaboromon tokens are level 6 white Digimon with a memory cost of 14. 3,000 DP and our Mega from Unidentified Type and Unknown Attribute. Sounds like a very, like, specific, unique... Ooh, yes! I love Gallantmon. Another secret, super rare pull, Chaos Gallantmon. Okay, sorry, back to my thoughts on this. It seems like a very specific card for a very specific type of deck, like a Diablo Roman deck, but let's get into this bad boy, Chaos Gallantmon, my dude. You may delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. So that's pretty nice. You can just delete like a rookie and get rid of their level 5. On your turn, once per turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, you may play one level 3 purple Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Any on-play effects on the Digimon played with this effect don't activate. So literally, when Digivolve, you delete one of your cards, and then on your turn, you've deleted that card, so you're going to get a free level 3 Digimon right back think that's how that works that's kind of cool all right another secret rare pull i think this must be a purple card yeah purple like it's tough for me to tell sometimes with these super rares because of the hollow pattern but uh i digress let's see if i can get this light down a little bit not really that's okay just gonna move this Omnimon over here. Fantastic. I'm really excited about that Omnimon. I need to do more research on it. Yep, it's the it's the Omnimon English pre-order ultimate alternate art. Got that gold border and it looks stunning. Oh my god, that's such a I am jazzed about that card. That is so cool. It wasn't even it's not even listed on TCG player yet um, in the set list. So like, I mean that's just how new this set is. Is like they don't even have all the cards listed online yet. Oh, Dorbikmon. God, he looks badass. Okay, cool. Kode. Code, Black Galgamon, Demonic Disaster, Nightmon, Shooting Starmon, another Rosamon, Throw in Shade, ooh, hello beautiful, War Greymon, always a good day when you pull War Greymon, 
If this if a Digimon card with Greymon in its name other than Doro Greymon, Burning Greymon, or Dex Doro Greymon is in this Digimon Stage Evolution card, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with Blocker, and then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. So I think this is similar to some of the other Greymons we've seen before in the past. And then Izzy and Mimi, which we already have the pre-release for, but that looked also like a very good card. So dope, dope, dope. I think we're, let's see here. I think there's 24 packs in this set. I think we're about halfway right now. I haven't been keeping that good of tabs on it, to be honest. I'm just like ripping packs and learning as much as I can as I go about the cards that we're getting. Colamon. But I think we're about halfway, and if we're halfway, I mean, this is amazing what we've pulled so far, I feel like. Um, we keep up with this sort of, like, ferocity in the rest of the box, like, it's I'm, it's going to be nuts. Um, Chris Paledramon, Blazing Storm of Metal, ooh, Bulukumon, when you trash a Digimon card of one of your opponent's Digimon, gain one memory, cool. And then Mega Digimon Fusion. The next time one of your Digimon Digivolves from level 6 to level 7 this turn, reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by 6. At the end of the turn, return the Digimon that Digivolved with this effect to the bottom of its owner's decks. Trash all the Digivolution cards of that Digimon. So it's uh, it's nice because it's uh, cheap zero play card cost. So you can, like, I think, like, you can Digivolve to, like, an Omnimon, which is level 7, I think. You can reduce it by six, and it costs six to play, right? So you basically get to play an Omnimon for free, but then you lose it immediately after. So you really got to go ham that turn, like, you know. I think it could really play in well with some decks, like, you know, getting that final blowout. Or if you've got, you know, maybe two Omnimons, or a way to get an Omnimon back out from your discard pile. That could be sick, so. All right. Marine Debimon. Mechanori. Tricera, Paledramon, Weedmon, Garurumon, <laughs> D's Royal Nuts, Coromon, Bancho Lilimon, Absolute Blast, ooh, sweet, Black War Graumon for the rare, I love this line, and then Shoutmon DX. This Digimon can attack when your opponent has one or more memory. What? What? That's freaking nuts. You may place one red Digimon card from your hand on top of this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Then, for each Omni Shoutmon or Zeke Greymon in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5 DP or less. What? Okay, this card is seems OP to me. You guys let me know in the comments below. But look at him. He is just a total badass wow i think this is the digivolution line that it, it's not like the it's not the shout mon from like the original season one of um digicross i think it's the the digicross like season two version um which is kind of interesting because i feel like he just digivolves to it uh whenever he wants um like warped digivolves um but i don't know that's that's kind of cool that's kind of the like I don't want to say like Forgotten series, the se season two of that, but I don't think it was that popular. I think people just kind of ignored it. Um, and I don't think it really did anything with the storyline either. It's just kind of like, hey, here's Digimon, enjoy. And you're like, okay, I'll try. Um, but I digress. Koromon, Monitamon, <sighs> Megadramon. What a total unit. Oh, it's so cool. Both players trash the top five cards of their decks. If you have a Tamer in play, you may play one level 6 Digimon card with Gallantmon in its name from your hand or trash without paying its memory cost, and that's on deletion. That's kind of cool, too. If this guy gets destroyed, boom! Gallantmon, aka Dukemon, gets placed um, in its place, or like Chaos Gallantmon. And then another Metal Garurumon for our second rare. So that's kind of kind of a nice thing. You're kind of starting to see, like just like me, that how some of these cards might play in together, right? Um, you're seeing some lines, some new lines, right? And then you're also seeing some old lines get new cards. And by lines, I mean like Digivolution lines from the show. Um, Gessomon. Mori Shellmon. Joker. It's the Joker and the Thief in the Night. Pikmon. Monita. Ooh. 
What's up, Nokia? How you living, girl? You may play one Agumon or Gabumon from your hand without paying its memory cost on play. That's um, that's kind of nice. And main, when digivolving one of your Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand with Garurumon, Omnimon, or Greymon, other than Duro, Burning, or Dex, Duro, and its name, you may suspend this tamer to reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by one. So again, this is like a stack card for Omnimon Dex into a Mega Digimon Fusion. All right, which we've already seen. All right, I think we're almost two thirds done. Uh, it's probably like a little bit of a longer video, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. There'll be some editing to cut out some of my like earlier giddiness, I'm sure, and my research about the ultimate art Omnimon. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you haven't, please leave a like. Um, I do appreciate it. Black Mock Gagomon, Sunamon, Infermon, Neptune, ooh, another Earthshaker, and another Sora and Joe. Sora and Joe. Sora and Joe. But we're not looking for Sora and Joe. We're looking for Omnimon. We need more Omnimons. And let's see if we can do that right here. Starmon. Taumon. Palmon. Hey, Pal. Demonic. Transcendent Sora. It's the first time we've pulled that. Zeed Greymon. So this is uh, the card that we were talking about with Omnimon, or uh, Shoutmon DX. So that's a good card to add to a red deck, it looks like. Blazing Storm of Metal. Terriermon Assistant. Oh, that's kind of funny. It's got like Agumon, P Professor Agumon back there. Main Digiburst 1. Trash one of this Digimon's Digivolution cards to activate the effect below. Reveal the top card of your deck. Add it to your hand if it's a green Digimon card. Otherwise, place it at the bottom of your deck. Okay, interesting. Tactamon, super rare. Very nice, let's see here. I'm trying to remember, I think Tactamon is from um, Digicross again, um, which is just like, if you haven't seen the series, uh, it's definitely worth a watch, it's super fun. Um, a lot different battle mechanic, it kind of take, kind of builds on, um, builds on kind of the, the Digivolution sequence from like series two where you, um, did uh, DNA Digivolution, so it builds on that. It's, it's it's a different mechanic, but it kind of builds on it a little bit. When attacking, activate one of your effects below. If you have no other Digimon in play, activate all the effects below instead. Gain one memory. This Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn, so that'd be 13k, and delete up to three of your opponent's level three Digimon. So like, you put this guy in play, you just crush through rookies like it's your job, right? Level three, I think, is a rookie, so. Very nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Very nice. I'm really digging the seat, the super rares that I'm getting. I mean, why wouldn't I? They're all freaking awesome. But um, I don't know. It's just super cool to see all these guys. Got an alt art already. Love alt art cards. They're like, they're like the new meta in Digi in Pokemon, um, and they're even more fun in Digimon, in my opinion, because I think the art's just super sick. So. Vajramon, Garbage Mon, Garbage, Pixie, Absolute Blast, Bancho Leomon, Blazing Storm of Metal, another Metal Guru Mon. It looks like I'm building a blue deck. Um, and then Black War Greymon. Hello. Security Attack plus one and reboots unsuspend this Digimon during your opponent's unsuspend phase. Okay, cool. So it's super hard to delete him, which is very nice. I like it. What do we got here? Ooh, six packs left. So the last, this last quarter, because I think there's 24 packs in a booster box. Last quarter, I feel like, I think we're still due for our secret rare. So there's still some heat in this box, even though I feel like it's been really awesome so far. I am, I don't know. I think this set's probably just gonna be fun to pull. Like I'm probably gonna have to get another booster box or two of this just to have me some fun. Wereguru Mon Sagittarius mode. And Wissenlin. Up, up to two of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of your opponent's next turn. Then if you have a Digimon with Digiburst in play, gain two memory. Ooh, wow, okay, cool, cool, cool. That could be strong. Some of those, I know like Digiburst is like a, Digiburst is a thing, it's kind of cool. God, I wish I could get the glare off these. These super rares are just so dope to look at. I'm gonna just like space them out down here. God, so cool. All right, sorry, back after it. 
I know. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited and interested in it. And I hope you guys are going to your like LCSs to you know grab these on release date to uh, maybe enjoy, pull some packs with buds, make some new decks to try out, maybe uh, participate in like a pre-release tournament, Garurumon, Kiwimon, Sunamon, another Arata Sonata, and here we go, Omnimon, X Antibody, for the secret rare pull, what a fantastic card. Your Digimon with Omni and its name can Digivolt into this card in your hand for a memory cost of three ignoring this card's digivolution requirements. Hot damn. So it's like, if you've already got Omnimon, let's just let's just take him to the next level really quick, okay? When attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or, or equal to this Digimon's DP. 15,000 is huge. So this thing's gonna be able to clear cut almost anything. And opponent's turn, when your opponent's Digimon attacks, you may trash two of your Digimon's digivolution cards to, the, to end the attack. Nuts. Battle of Omni, let's freaking go. Look at this card. It is beautiful. God, I love just everything about these cards. It's so sick. I told you there was fire coming. That secret rare, I'm pretty sure that's probably the top secret rare in the in the thing. So I'm I'm living my best life right now, honestly, with these pulls. I don't know. Uh, about you guys, but uh, this is fire for me. Um, and I, I, I feel like I usually have pretty good luck with Digimon, so just more of the same for me. Loving every second of it. Superstarmon. Revive. Zanbamon. Black War Greymon. And a Warumonzemon. Warumonzemon. Got three packs left. I don't know if I can expect anything else from this booster. I mean, I've gotten like three let's see here wait how many got seven already six gotten six super rares seven technically because the alt art right and then of course this the secret rare i don't know if i'm supposed to get any more like i said they these box are specific you're supposed to get a certain number of like each type of card z graymon all delete and omni shopmon very nice while this Digimon has Blitz, it gains a security attack plus one. Very cool. But I don't know. There still could be another another doozy waiting for me in here. Maybe another Altart card, which would be just so dope to get. Let's see here. <gasps> Cute. Cutemon. Pillowmon. Who's cuter, Cutemon or Pillowmon? I feel like Cutemon. Cutemon's got like, just like checking all the boxes of super cuteness. Um, Pixiemon. Infer, Koro, Spiral Masquerade, Izzy and Mimi, and Metal Greymon Alterus Mode. 666. So this is the one where he gets like a freaking uh, rail gun for an arm. If a Digimon card with Metal Greymon, his name is in this Digimon Stitch Evolution cards. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4000 DP or less. So you can just bye bye. That's pretty nice. Coming to the end of the opening here, last pack. We'll get a little last pack magic. Again, if you guys have not, uh, or if you guys have stuck with me this long but have not hit the like button, I would really appreciate it. Um, comment down below after this pack is done what your favorite pull from the set was. I don't think I'm gonna, I mean, Omnimons, obviously. Chaos Gallantmon, I mean, what, an, what a unit. Superstarmon. Maybe Super Starmon's your favorite from the set. Okay, nice. Another Mega Dramon and Ty and Matt to round out the opening. So, year in review, right? I'm pretty sure this matches up with what you normally get is seven super rare cards and a secret rare card. Just so happens today that one of my super rare cards was an alternate art version of Omnimon's Wart. So, super, 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 super hype super awesome pulls here these two cards alone definitely are like singly worth more than the booster box you guys will see prices on the screen afterwards once i'm done editing but i i don't really know what they're worth now i just think they're awesome um obviously you guys know how i feel about gallant mon um but if we kind of like look over here yeah we got 
three Omnimons, Battle of Omnimon. Battle of Omni is so dope. I hope you guys go out and get it. Again, if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe if you're new here, turn on notifications, leave some comments down below. Let's let's just chat about Digimon. I really am hoping to kind of like get a little bit better about the game. And if people want to play Digimon, like I think we can play it on tabletop uh, emulator through like Steam or whatever. Hit me up down below. I'd like to learn how to do that. Um, I think it's if you have the emulator, I think I think it's free. You just have to download like a plugin for it or something. So. That would be super cool uh, to do with you guys. So um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And oh my God, alt arts and secret rares for days. This is nuts. Have a good one, guys.